Was there something that the Seahawks did that jumped out at you as far as being able to put so much heat on the quarterback? Uh, I just think they got great rushes over there, man, and uh, there's nothing they did special, you know what I mean? I feel like uh, they got a lot of guys that play very good ball over there, and I'm um, just going to be watching them this week, trying to get little tips and stuff that we can from it. Um, and like I said, not try to do the most and go out there and, oh, like, we got to get 12 sacks because the Seahawks got 11, you know what I mean? Just got to keep our heads down and play football like how we know how to, the techniques and the fundamentals, and like I said, all that stuff to take care of yourself. Where do you think this team is right now in terms, you know, there's the sack total that we all talk about, mm -hmm. but there's also the win rate to put pressure on a quarterback. How do you think this team is doing in those two departments? Uh, I think we're doing all right, but we could for sure do a lot better, you know what I mean? Me personally, I feel like I could um, get after quarterback a lot better um, these first, after these first couple games. And um, it just take, goes back to, to, like I said, the technique, man, and just um, mastering, being a master of the technique and not trying to do too much and uh, get my sack numbers up and stuff like that, letting the game come to me and, and, and letting me be me. In, in terms of this defense, you're the guy who has the most understanding of Big Banjo's scheme and system. Where do you think that the unit is as a defense in terms of trust in this game? I think we're almost there, man. I feel like... Uh, I feel like yeah, it's easy to, to trust it on paper and it's easy to go out there and practice and trust it, but then when bullets flying, you kind of want to res resort back to your old ways and do stuff that you used to do. And I feel like as a team, man, we're, we're right there on the cusp of perfecting where we need to be. And we still, um, a player or two might, you know what I'm saying, resort back to old things and, and not do stuff how we know how we could do it. And those two, one or two plays end up hurting us in the long haul. You know what I mean? That's when they get their explosive plays. So I feel like if we minimize trying to go outside of defense and trying to do the next person's job and trying to do the, the absolute most. I feel like we all, like I said, get back to those fundamentals, get back to the, what the defense is asking of us. I feel like we could just take this to a whole nother level. How much does the defense miss a guy like Jalen when he's not in there? A lot, man. A lot. You, with a talent like that, man, you, you want him to be out on the field. Um, try to do as much as you can in his absence, but you want a guy like that to be out on the field. And I know he's doing everything he can to be back out on that field. So um, it's going to be fun to get him back whenever that is. I know he's, like I said, he's working his tail off in that treatment room to get back. And um, this team's going uh, to need him for the long haul.